bit of a different scenery, huh? So, I don't usually intertwine these parts of my life together, I guess. Um, but I kind of want to. So I'm out fly fishing today and I was just, you know, here in the beautiful Pacific Northwest, here in my garage, here in the beautiful Pacific Northwest on a Monday. And I was just thinking about how cool that is that I had this opportunity to do this. And my Amazon FBA brand is going really well and I'm super excited and motivated to work on that. Like it doesn't seem like a chore or work. So I'm thinking about what I'm doing tomorrow. I'll be waking up early again, 5.30 and working on that. Um, so I, I feel like I, I'm living directly in line with who I'm supposed to be and that's such a fun feeling. And I wanted to just kind of make this as maybe a gentle reminder that that's possible. That, that, that's been my whole philosophy here with this YouTube channel is to just make transparent open-minded content um, that's realistic and so no I don't have a Ferrari or you know thousand dollar course or any of this stuff but I do have uh, a journey that I'm looking to share so I don't I don't just want to ramble here but I, I just wanted to essentially um, share my gratitude with all of you and maybe this this video one person watches this and they they go you know what i'm gonna give this a try i'm gonna try and start making money online or do that thing i was always trying to do learn the guitar like there's that it factor and that thing for everyone with certain things and for me this lifestyle is what i always dreamed of I, funny story really quick i it was in kindergarten, and I still remember this somehow. They they asked us, like when we were first learning to write, um, to write down your dream job. And I put a professional fisherman. <laughs> I was like, I was addicted to fishing when I was a little kid. I just always connected to water, or the river, having, you know, fishing rod in my hand. And that's something that's I've carried with me throughout life. Um, now I'm doing it at a whole new level. You know, it's February, I'm swinging flies for winter steelhead and um, you know doing it in a pretty cool scenic place here in Washington not Connecticut anymore but it's just kind of surreal that like I was able to find my way without a traditional job um, selling a made in the USA product that I'm really proud of that I worked on really hard and make videos about that and yeah, I'm just feeling incredibly grateful. Birds are about to go by. There they are. Feeling incredibly grateful. Wanted to share that with you. Um, vulnerability video. When I get out in nature, I start thinking this way. So um, hopefully the uh, audio quality is not too bad. You can also see me holding the phone in my own glasses. But Yeah, really good day. I'm looking forward to getting back to work. Um, why don't we take this as an opportunity? Can you, can you do me a personal favor and comment down below why it is you're gonna start living the way you want to? Because, I mean, all the cliches seem to be true, right? Like, life's too short, like, you gotta do what you love. Um, there really is no reason not to do what you wanna do. I had this conversation with my fishing buddy in the car this morning. He's struggling a little bit with procrastination and not really, you know, hitting his goals and stuff like that. And I was like, for one thing, losers and winners all have the same goals. I recently heard that on a podcast. And I was like, that's a really good line. Um, so it's not the goals that separate you. So what is it? I mean, there's always the, you know, the action. And that's a pretty standard thing to say. You got to take action, right? There's nothing new about that. Um, but this one thing that I shared with him was that you know, high achievers tend to maximize their action comparatively to their knowledge. So they tend not to try and learn new things until they've done what they know how to do, right? They like continuously hit new walls and new problems and then go learn those. But through that process, they're doing things. And so I was like, how do you do things then? Right? How do we break this down? So we know we have to do things. 
And I have to continuously do them a lot so that we can fi figure out what works. But the biggest killer of dreams, I think, is procrastination, not doing it, and it just not feeling fun, right? It's like there's so many more things to do that feel fun nowadays that it's like, it's, it's not that fun to work. So how do we make it a game? And this is where I start really getting excited and where I kind of changed my life. Um, I'll never forget my girlfriend, we were driving the car and she was like, you know, you say all these things, you never do them. And I took that, like, I took it to heart, but not in a way like, I'm gonna get back at you, like prove you wrong. It's like, no, you're absolutely right. Why don't I just switch it on? Like, what if I just, clearly I have the knowledge because my plans make sense. Let's just do them. And so, all of this to say, how do we make things fun? Make a list called what would be really cool if it were true. I did this recently. My life's getting very cool. Um, very cool, in fact. So what would it be cool? What would be cool if it were true? That's the list, right? It's not really goals, because I guess they can be goals, but push it towards action. What would be cool if it were true? Who's the type of person, what kind of things would I be doing? And so for me, like fly fishing all day on a Monday and everyone else is working, that's pretty cool. How would I do that? I just need to figure out how to make money online. Well, I already do that. So, um, by the way, shameless plug. It's not really a plug. I mean, you can join my course for any amount over a dollar if you wanna learn how to sell on Amazon. Not the point of this video, but I'm just saying, it's one, I mean, one dollar? Come on, one dollar? Um, <laughs> or any amount you want, it's donation based. But yeah, I, I'm just feeling generous. I'm feeling really good about this year. I'm excited for um, the things that are going on with my brand. Wanted to touch base with y'all and um, yeah, start sh showing you more of my life, even if it's just me holding up my cell phone while I'm fishing. But hey, you've never really seen the side of me all geared out in waders, flies on the jacket. Um, anyway, I'm gonna wrap that up here. Be sure to subscribe for another video um, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.